Hello friends, this video on playing with numbers part 27 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we are clear with the concept of prime numbers, we are clear with the concept of factors and common factors and multiples, it is time that we introduce a, something very interesting concept called prime factorization of a number. So factorization, what is the meaning of factorization? Factorization means writing a number in terms of its factors. So when a number is expressed as a product of its factors, we say that a number has been factorized or that is called factorization of a number. Basically writing a number as product of its factors. So let us say, uh, let, let's take a very common example. Let's talk about the number 8. So 8 can be written as 2 into 4. So 2 is a factor of 8. 4 is also a factor of 8. So we have written 8 as a product of two of its factors. So this means that 8 is factorized or this is called factorization of 8. 8 is written as product of its factors. Then what is prime factorization? When a number is written as a product of its factors such that all the factors are prime numbers. Now in this case is this prime factorization of 8? No, because 2 is a prime number but 4 is not a prime number, 4 is a composite number. So this is not prime factorization but this is only factorization of 8. So how will we do prime factorization of 8? Now if we write 8 as 2 into 2 into 2, like this also we can write. Now in this case also we have written 8 as a product of its factors. So basically here also we have factorized 8 but now if you see here all the factors are prime numbers. So we can say that we have prime factorized 8 or this is called prime factorization of 8. So when a number is expressed as a product of its factors such that all the factors are prime numbers then we call it the prime factorization of that number. So let us take some other examples. Let us talk about a number 54. So 54 can be written as 9 into 6 or 6 into 9. So this is factorization of 54 but this is not prime factorization because neither 6 nor 9 is a prime number. But if the same thing is written as now 9 can be written as 3 into 3, 6 can be written as 2 into 3. So 54 can be written as 3 into 3 into 2 into 3. So 3 and 2 are also factors of 54. So we have basically written it in the form of factors which are prime numbers. So therefore this is prime factorization of 54. So how exactly do we do prime factorization of a number? So let us say the number is 54. So we start with the smallest prime number. Which is the smallest prime number? It is true. 2 is the smallest prime number. Now when you divide 54 by 2, what is the quotient that you get? 2 2 is a 4, then 2 7 is a 14. So 27 is the quotient that you get. So you write the quotient. Now you again divide this by the smallest prime number possible. Possible in the sense which is the smallest prime number by which this will be divisible. So 2 by 2, 27 will not be divisible but by 3 it will be divisible because 3 9s are 27. Again 9 will be divisible by 3. So 3 3s are 9. Right? Again this 3 will be divisible by 3 that is 3 1s are 3. So you perform this until you get a 1 here. Until and unless you get a 1 here, you continue the process. So once you have done this, then you can write 54 as product of all these factors. That is 2 into 3 into 3 into 3. 2 into 3 into 3 into 3. So this is how we do prime factorization of a number. So you start with the smallest prime number by which that number is exactly divisible. Then you write its quotient and again repeat the process with the smallest prime number possible. And continue this until you get 1. And then you can represent that number as product of the prime factors. So let us look at some examples of prime factorization. So the first example that we will consider is a number 70. Now let us do prime factorization of 70. So which is the smallest prime number by which 70 will be divisible? 2 is the smallest prime number. 70 has 0 in its units place. So 70 is divisible by 2. 
So what would be the quotient? 2, 3 is a 6, 2, 5 is a 10. So it will be 35. Now do you think 35 will be divisible by 2? No, because it doesn't have 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 in its units place. Will it be divisible by 3? No, because sum of the digits is 8 and 8 is not divisible by 3. So it will be divisible by 5. So 5 7 is a 35. Now 7 is a prime number. So 7 will be divisible only by 7. So this will be 1. So you have got 1 here. So how will you prime factorize it? This will be 2 into 5 into 7. So 2, 5, 7 all of them are prime numbers. Let's look at another example. Let's consider a number 450. So this is comparatively a bigger number. So let's start with 2 again. 2 2 is a 4, 2 2 is a 4, 2 5 is a 10. Now 225, this will begin be divisible by 5 because we know that a number is divisible by 5 whenever it has 0 or 5 in its units place. So this would be 5 for the 20, 5 5 is a 25. Now this will again be divisible by 5, 5 9 is a 45. Now this 9 will be divisible by 3, so 3 3 is a 9, 3 will be divisible by 1. So 3 1 is a 3. So what do we get? We, we get it as 2 into 5 into 5 into 3 into 3. So we say this is the prime factorization of 450. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.